Not even the craziness of the past years could stop us from discipling people, but it made evangelism much more difficult. Therefore, we are glad that last year we regained our freedoms to work publicly. This is what it looked like. The special focus of this year, Ministry to Mothers, was the first publication of our book called Moms for Moms. The value of the book is found in different and honest stories written by the group of mothers who are also members of 14 different denominational churches all over Croatia. Besides the inspirational stories, the book itself contains devotional workbook study, so the book can be used to start small groups in different places. Right now, we are offering the book to national libraries and different government institutions in order to start support groups for mothers in different cities in Croatia and in that way have a chance to share the gospel with each one of them. Soaring is a life coaching evangelistic program for women that we've been offering in Croatia for the last six years. The main message of the program is the message of God's love and His invitation to build our lives on having a personal relationship with Jesus. In the last year, 59 women attended this program. We had groups in Zagreb, Varaždin, Vinkovci and also online through Zoom. We have six new volunteers who have already started or will start new groups in Zagreb, Split and on the island of Hvar. Women usually hear about this program through recommendations of their friends or they find us on social media. The interest is pretty high. We always have a, a waiting list. In the last previous months, uh, Focus Spirituality has intensively uh, used its resources to prepare and to build a platform for the training and organization of the Alpha courses in our country. And we think Alpha course is a very effective tool in reaching our creation society. As a result of all these preparations, we have just started a new Alpha course as our organization and also we're uh, conducting a big training in the following month where we will uh, invite top world experts in Alpha and the practitioners who have done it and started Alpha in their own countries. Also, Focus in the Bible has continued his production and we have made uh, additional 10 episodes. Also, we, we have finished the cycle of training of young pastors who are pastoring churches in Slavonia. In the first week of lectures, we gave out 400 welcome packets to freshmen, made connections with them, and invited them to our activities. Thursdays were reserved for fellowship, games, and discussions on topics such as relationship, faith, personal development, and so on. Every Wednesday, we gathered around God's Word, studied it, and encouraged each other to apply it in our lives. Together with our friends from STEP, we launched the Alpha course where students invited their friends. Every week, 60 to 80 students talked about Christ and the basics of Christian life. We hosted three teams of students from the USA. They went out to the campus, met lots of students, shared the gospel with them, and invited them into our fellowship. At the beginning of the summer, Luca and Matea represented Croatia at an evangelistic summer camp in Macedonia where they were trained to share the gospel with the youth. Last year, Focus Partner had our first hybrid global leadership summit, in person and online, despite the challenges of COVID. GLS and the Little Lighthouse Award for an ethical worker led to a number of chances to share about the connection between faith and work in media. Our business groups met regularly and had a number of exciting guests. Christian Sinotti shared his story with our colleagues from all over Europe in one of our Let's Talk webinars. We built new partnerships with the Gideons and Euro Partners to network people in Croatia who have a heart to connect Sunday and Monday together. Anita Kanjera created and hosted our new Focus Partner Leadership Podcast. We were also able to train other organizations in the model of fundraising and partner development that we use inside of Focus. Highlight for Family Life Ministry this year was Regional Pastoral Marriage Conference in Bosnia that had 35 couples from five different countries come together. We love partnering with 
local churches from the state that come alongside us and help us in doing family camp or men's retreat. This year we had a guy who was signed up by his wife because she thought it was a great initiative for him to show up. Uh, one way we try to uh, help local churches reach into their communities is by organizing National Marriage Week, which is held in 26 cities of Croatia, all run by volunteers, offering programs that will enrich marriages, but also give them opportunities for follow-up as the year goes on. It was really exciting to see new couples come and join us as we organized our uh, walks for couples where they have fun and connect. A big goal of our church work this year was to see people that gave us rich spiritual maturity. Through the activities of the church I lead, we baptized two people in June and will baptize three more new believers. Last year was full of activities that are favorite for the youth, camps. I was trained to lead and launch the ultimate training camp program in Croatia next year. Through seven camps we organized or helped with, we worked with about 200 kids and youth. About 50 of them indicated a decision to have a personal relationship with Christ. Every week we host four total fit training sessions with 20 people in two groups. Some of them are joining our other programs and they visit our church. This October, we started the initiative called National Sports Sunday, which promotes prayer for the sports world of Croatia. Several of us from crew staff come from the earthquake-stricken region of Banja, and we were glad that we could help in a small way. We could provide shelter for people, fix their homes, and even rebuild one store. Through our Ukrainian staff lady, we are helping the Ukrainian refugees in Croatia. We cannot bring the good news to our Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the world alone. Therefore, we are grateful for our partners in Croatia and internationally. Jesus prays for us this way. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me.